in this video we're going to be taking a look at something really cool which is a launcher and it's called smart launcher 2 now what's special about this launcher in particular is that it actually natively supports uh, game pads and I've been using it on my Tegra Note 7 and I've had a very good experience so far it's fast and it's clean um, and it's just it's a phenomenal like uh, launcher compared to uh, something like Nova or Apex because it really feels smooth so let's get into it as you can see the layout is pretty simple you have your icons your roll icons over here which you can customize to make into like either lines or the round shape that you see over here uh, I'm using that and you can even customize what each icon does so for example, the photograph one opens the gallery and the mail app opens the choice of mail that you have. And really cool features, instead of um, going through like a really heavy animation and opening your um, app drawer, you can just simply slide over here and you can just move your finger down and it shows everything you need. Like all your apps are automatically arranged in settings and media and games and it's very fast. And if you want to close it, you just slide back. Slide in, slide back. I, I can do the same thing with the controller. So if I press the X button, I can go into my drawer and I can use my R button, or wait, this is the left but button bumper, to move around. Left and right bumpers to move up and down. And I can use my analog sticks to basically select whatever I need. And it's very fast, very smooth. You know, I... The only thing, um, I don't know if it's implemented yet, but I'm not able to get the highlight on this because when I move my stick, I know it's selecting the app, but I'm not able to get the highlight on it, so I can't tell which one I'm selecting. And um, it's very fast. It's a very small download. It does, have, um, it does have widget support, but this is not the full version. The full version, you can add widgets, but in this, you can change your clock. To, they have a bunch of clock styles. There's there's quite a few clock styles you can change into and uh, Yeah, it's a great launcher um, Let me try loading a game just for the heck of it. Oh An important feature that I forgot which is really cool is the search feature. So um, A lot of times when I'm out and I want to use my maps It's kind of hard because I have a lot of apps and I just want a quick access to it so what I would do I would just slide here I would click the search bar and I would press M and you see maps right over there so it's very very fast very fluid very fast and I would if you have a gamepad or if you have an Nvidia shield or a Tegra note for that matter which you use with a gamepad on your TV or even um, that you're just carrying around I would definitely recommend you check out smart launcher 2 it's uh, pretty good it's great so I was gonna load up a game um, let's see what have I been playing? I've been playing Bloody Harry. So I've been playing Bloody Harry, which is really cool. And I have a lightsaber. I'm probably going to do an impressions video on this. Um, simply because it's a very nice game. It's free. And I've really enjoyed playing it so far. Well, I think that's about it. So this is Smart Launcher 2 and uh, thank you for watching the video. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe and if you don't like it, go ahead and dislike it. Thank you for watching.